this is Amy. Welcome today to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a very simple, kind of a rose inspired design that is perfect for beginner painters. I'm going to be doing a 14 and a 12, a magic round brush. I do put the links down below. And then also number zero for the round brushes. And my fine liner by Westonia. I keep forgetting to order new, so I do apologize. All the paints I'm using are folk art paints. I'm using yellow ochre, magenta, aqua, and wicker white. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I just got paint all over me. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and dip the 14 round brush into the aqua and begin the design. I've done something similar before, uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you just another design. So basically I'm base coating this and just making it kind of, you know, roughly around the edges. And I'm going to do, try to fit three in here. Again, just keeping the, keeping it kind of wavy around the extremities. All right. And they don't have to be a circle. I mean, it can be in just a roughly kind of around, or you can make it more like that, which kind of reminds me of a cloud. And this one, then go back over it a little bit. The more opaque your design is, just keep that in mind. I always like to mention that. The more durable the design is going to be. People are worried about the paint scratching, that kind of thing. And of course, treat it, treat it with respect, obviously. And so you avoid that, but if you have a thick coat, it should be fine. All right, so I'm dipping my brush, didn't even wash it off, just dipping it into the white. And this is the kind of flyer where you go in and you just start doing these, you know, just these little, little marks around it, just kind of wavy. I'm going to go around the edges. Do it over here. And if you see something that needs a little bit more white, you know, feel free to go in and add more white to it as you go. You can stand back and take a look at it and see. Like this one over here. I'm going to go ahead and make it go like that. And I can even come out here and do one, but I'm just going to keep it within just like this. Then I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. Actually, I'm going to start in the center. Started on the edge there. That's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. And then come out, come around it. Oops, grabbed a little pink. Sorry about that. It's actually the magenta. And come out here from it if I want or you can just strictly stay on the, the painted surface if you want and I keep wanting to start on the edge for some reason I have no idea why
as you can see, it's very easy, which is good. That's what it's meant to be. And just take a look and see if you need to come back in and add any more. Now if you want, you can add some dots to the center, but I'm not going to do that on this. I'm just going to leave it just like this, but you can add some dots, you know, to make more of a center if you wanted. I'm going to leave it like it is. All right, next thing I'm going to do is come in with the number 12 and put it into my magenta and then I can sneak a little bit of the white in here and I'm going to add some very simple leaves and yes the leaves are going to be pink as I mentioned several times leaves don't have to be green they really really don't and again this is a very simple leaf to paint very simple and just kind of look and see where you want to add a leaf so I'm just pressing down, pulling towards the flower, pressing down, pulling towards the flower. If I want to add some more white in here, I can. If I like it just the way it is, then leave it alone. I can make that bigger. Just very loose, and I like that. Just very loose painting. any of you given any of my paintings a try? I hope you have. Because I sure am hoping to inspire some of you to, to do some of the paintings. Again, they're very, very simple for you. In most cases. Some of them are a little harder, but most of them are pretty darn easy. And you don't have to stick with two you know, I'm putting two leaves together. I don't have to stick with that. I just, I don't know. I don't know why I do that, but I do. I mean, you could even have one leaf if you wanted. So then what I'm going to do is right at the beginning here, you know, you can go ahead if you want. I'm going to dip this fine liner into the, the magenta and a little bit into the white. If you like them just like this, you can just leave it or you can come in and, and put your little, you know, where you're tying them, to, oops, that wasn't good, tying them together. Not necessary because you can't see them very well, but they're there. So if it makes you feel better, then go ahead and add them. All right, now I'm just going to kind of scrape that off a little bit. I am going to then take my fine liner, put it into the yellow ochre. Just put it, push it in, pull it out. I turn the brush as I'm pulling it out just to get a little bit of a thin uh, you know, so I can do a little pull out from here and do it out this way and I'm trying to go over it again just to make sure that I got it on here thick enough that it'll be durable and not wash off easily now I can go ahead and put some in here too, even though I just put one out the other way. If you want to fill in. Actually, it can come out this way if I wanted it to. Because I actually do want some like that right there. And then I'll come like this on the top. Come out like this. And fix that up. I have four, which is fine. I know I like my odds, but 
we'll leave it at that. So then I'm gonna stick my Zero round brush into the yellow ochre and I can tip it in with a little bit of white and just keep adding to that as I paint. And I'm just gonna do just little pulls towards the, towards the stem. And if it's, there we go. And do another one. Just touch and pull. And they don't all have to be the same size. They don't all have to be the two different colors. And you lay it down and pull it. Very simple. Do that here. And rotate them. And just, just relax. Have fun and enjoy. Enjoy painting and creating. any questions or comments please place those down below if you're new to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell that way you'll be alerted when I post something new just have to warn you I do do a lot of videos so beware and if you're a newbie just know that I do these videos as simple videos so that beginner painters can find a nice hobby, a relaxing hobby, maybe make some of their own home decor pieces or gifts for other people. done. I appreciate you sticking with me. Now this one I'm not going to go through and add stems. I'm just going to leave these like that. Here you go. It's finished. Quick and easy. Minimal of four paints. Very simple. All right, I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Before you leave, please take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate that. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.